Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here doing a reading for Libra. I figured I'd try to get this in before ears wakes up. And uh, my little ears is a little Libra, so she, you know, she definitely has those ears. She hears everything. She don't miss a beat. So falls right in line with who you are, huh? Anyhow, what do we got for Libra for April? Ah, uh, what do we have? Oh, nothing wrong with that. Uh, that is good. That's observation, okay? If you aren't missing a beat, there ain't much they can get by you, huh? So I think it's a really good. I think it's a good trait. I do. I, I really do. Anyhow, what do we have for Libra? Shadow Moon it did come out reversed. It flew out of the deck, and I got chills. I don't know why. Um, the Moon. So the Moon is, in reverse is something being revealed that was below the surface or that was hidden. So truth being revealed, something that was hidden being revealed may have something to do with Pisces or Cancer because the, moon, the Cancer is ruled by the Moon as well. A lot of people don't mention it, but, but definitely can represent Cancer as well. So anyhow, um, let me just shut that off. There's a reflection here. It's interesting because observing and reflecting and it's interesting that I mentioned ears, which is about reflecting, observing, and reflecting. And there's a reflection. The moon puts off a reflection. So something about reflection, um, something is going to be seen, okay? The shadow is, is going to, and it's interesting what's happening now. I just did my daily. This didn't happen on the table. It happened up here, but not down on the table. So something is coming out, coming out. Something's going to come out may have something to do with a Pisces or a Cancer. <laughs> I gotta show you what's on the bottom. Truth, judgment, ah. So there is definitely something that is, this is a realization, it is. It's an epiphany, it's an awakening, it's the truth. It could be a judgment that is being, there's something that has been hidden. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, a water sign. Um, there is something that is going to be revealed. I don't know if this has to do with legalities or contracts or something. Lies being exposed. There is definitely some truth that is going to come out. There's no doubt about it. Let's get some of these. And I got strong chills. So, very interesting. What is happening for Libra? has to do I feel like it definitely has to do with a water sign that has been deceiving ah beware of great pride look at right where that landed egotistical there's somebody that you are dealing with that is extremely egotistical they have a huge ego I don't think it's you okay look at where that landed that tell I don't think it's you I really don't this person has a lot of pride but it looks like they're going down there's something, they're about to get a, a blow to their ego. I mean, this could go vice versa if you are the water sign or if you are somebody else that is watching this. There is somebody here that is hiding something. They are in their ego. They have a lot of pride. I feel like they're about to be taken down a notch. This is somebody that likes all the pretty things in the world, right? Yeah, whatever. Anyhow, I'm just going to leave that right there. Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So, some may have something to do with family. Okay, it probably may have something to do with family. Something is, is happening. That shadow is about to be removed. I, psychic ability, trust your intuition. You know something. And it's because of your observation and reflection. Right? Right? She's, she's 12 years old. She's super intuitive. She is. It's unbelievable. Anyhow, um, let's see if we can fix this a little bit. There we go. What do we got for Libra? Maybe you haven't been listening to your intuition. 
Maybe there's been some confusion. If there has been, it's gonna get cleared up pretty fast. It's interesting how I just brought those right into view. What do we got for Libra? Bad advice from a friend or family member. Sure, it's on the bottom. Two-faced individual. There's a two-faced individual here. Somebody that wears a mask, you know. To the outside world, they look great. But as soon as they're behind closed doors, they're a completely different person. This person is not who they say they are. We would see that with the shadow card as well. There is somebody that is two-faced. They wear two faces. Anyhow, what do we have for Libra? The feelings are mutual. So the feelings are mutual, however that resonates with you. Somebody's been hiding their feelings or hiding something. Maybe there's been some sort of illusion or fantasy that has caused them to hide their feelings. Ah, it's not going away. You definitely have a two-faced individual here. There is no doubt about it. To the outside world, this person puts on a face. It's kind of like putting on makeup for the day, coming home and taking it off. Or some people that put all those filters on their pictures and that's not really who they look like, you know? This is like you are dealing with somebody who projects themselves to be somebody that they are not. And that is very, very clear, okay? So this ain't good, but this one just happened to come out reverse this time. It did. So that tells me that somebody's mask is about to be taken off. And if you are the cross watcher, you know, it could be your Libra. There is somebody here that is about to lose their uh, fake, you know, their fakeness. They're about to lose their, their, uh, the mask is about to be ripped right off, put it that way, all right? Oh, oh, and it definitely has something to do with a mask. This is reverse, it might be the way I'm holding the deck, but secret admirer, but we have another mask here, so it definitely has to do with a mask. Somebody is definitely hiding, they're hiding something, they're hiding behind a fucking mask, okay? I'm sorry for swearing, but that mask about to come off. The truth is about to be revealed, whoever it is that you're dealing with. You probably also have a secret admirer because I, and you may not be aware of it, okay? Because that came out reverse. Maybe you are aware of it. Maybe you're afraid of it, I don't know. But there is definitely a secret admirer here. Um, anyhow, what do we have for Libra? I feel like there's somebody that is hiding their feelings for you, for you as well. That's, your, there is. Somebody is hiding their feelings. Maybe they're under somebody else's control. They're afraid of this person. Anyhow, what do we have for Libra? Could be dealing with Gemini as well. I really feel like it's it's a Gemini or it's a Pisces or a Cancer. I mean, I suppose it could be a Scorpio as well, but I feel like it's... I could be, I could be wrong. I mean, we all have these elements in our chart anyway. Ooh! Queen of Swords reversed. Could be a stepmother, mother-in-law, mother, ex. Um, this could also be you. This is like bitter. Justice reversed. Oh my God, we definitely have a liar here. Somebody that doesn't tell the truth. This is, a, this is like dishonest, lack of integrity. Somebody isn't, there's a misalignment here or there's a disharmony, there's indecision, there's lies, there's lies. There's somebody here that is, I don't know what they're doing, but this isn't fair. There's some sort of unfairness here. There could be news of legalities here. Could have something to do with a legal contract. Queen of Swords reverse is cruel, unforgiving. And I don't know if it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. It could be an ex. It could be a woman that uh, is very cold, very bitter. She's she's very selfish, self-centered. Uh, she lies a lot. And, and whether this is you or somebody that you're dealing with, this is somebody that only uh, thinks about herself. There's definitely lies here. There, this isn't fair. There's unfair treatment. There's selfish behavior. 
swords reversed. Hmm. Injustice, not fair. Some of you are dealing, it may be another Libra, but it could also be a Gemini or, or it's a Pisces or a Cancer. This is somebody that is very unforgiving, that is very cruel, that doesn't tell the truth. Conflict. Conflict, tension, competition. Fighting, fighting, fighting. We have a bitch here, and whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, we definitely have a bitch here that is doing something against the law. You know, maybe she's going to be getting some karma. We can only hope and pray that that's the case. Anyhow, five of wands. Five of wands is bitterness. Uh, not bitterness. We have the bitterness here, but this is conflict. I want to say bitterness came out of my mouth. We definitely have a bitter bitch, and I don't know if it's you or who it is, but it's pretty clear to me. Anyhow, five of wands. Five of wands is conflict, competition, competition. There's maybe somebody that's competing with you. There probably is. Ten of Wands, Ten of Wands reverse is a release. It is letting go of a burden, letting go of baggage, uh, making a conscious change. Maybe you need to stop engaging with this person. Maybe you've been fighting with this person. Or there's going to be a conflict with this person. There definitely could be. There, because this, we, go, we go from past, present, to future. I don't know if you're fighting with this person right now. Or there's some sort of conflict with this person. This signifies let it go. Okay, just let it go. Just let it go. You may have somebody here that's just pissing you off. Maybe they're bringing out your inner bitch. I mean, hey, we're all human now, right? So, hey. Anyhow, the ten of, ten of Wands. Ten of Wands reverse is release. It's let go. Don't carry it. Just let it go. <laughs> Easier said than done, eh? Anyhow, um, hmm. King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Feelings, acting on feelings, given to act on feelings. Very extremely emotional. You need to master your emotions. Ma manage your feelings. Master your emotions. You will have control of your emotions, okay? Maybe you need to turn your back on this competition. You know what I mean? Fo focus on your, your, your self-love. Master your emotions, okay? You need to let something go. Let something go. I feel like you in you are highly intuitive at this time. I also feel like for some of you, you are, you are receiving some sort of emotional support from somebody. You may have a jealous bitch. Could be. Anyhow, uh, Ten of Wands reverse. That is, that is uh, making a conscious change. You need to manage your feelings. You need to make a conscious change to let something go that you have been holding on to that has been bringing you a lot of conflict and tension. There's been some sort of unfair treatment. Put it that way. There has been. There's been an injustice. I feel like maybe you've been attacked by somebody verbally. This is a liar. You know, this is a liar. This is somebody that doesn't care who they hurt. They have their own agendas, right? This is somebody that is cruel and unforgiving. Um, mm -hmm. Two cups reversed. That is a parting of ways, separation, and disharmony in a union, disharmony in a partnership, separation, breakup. Um, detachment it's unfair i wonder if you're feeling cold or you're 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 not really wanting to communicate with somebody or anybody because of a a breakup or a separation you know or, or some sort of unfair treatment from a partner this is a separation so and you could be dealing with somebody that is going through a separation and maybe they're treating you badly i'm not sure that could be the case there's definitely a separation here and there's a lack of integrity and there's unforgiving energy. And maybe that, that could be you. Maybe you're in a place where you're feeling unforgiving about a separation. This, you know, didn't go, something hasn't gone in your favor. Um, this is a conflict. So I do believe that there is going to be a conflict. There probably could be fighting. There is some sort of competition here. The advice is to master your emotions and let it go. Okay. You may, you may want to fight with this person, but the advice is to master your emotions and let it go, okay? And I know that's really, really easier said than done, okay? Um, there's some sort of something that is coming out, which is the truth, 
okay? We saw that with the judgment card in that moon reverse. Something that was below the surface is gonna come out. It may cause some sort of conflict, okay? It's gonna cause, it's gonna be, it is gonna cause a conflict. This is disharmony, it's an imbalance. It's definitely gonna throw you off. It may piss you off and bring out your inner bitch, male or female. We are human and we all have bitch in us, right? It's just the way it goes. Anyhow, um, your intuition is, you know this already. You are highly intuitive at this time. You are very highly intuitive. Um, you're dealing with a two-faced individual where that you are going to have to control your emotions about. I feel like this person is jealous. King of, King of Swords, reverse. It's interesting, right next to the King of Cups. This is definitely about emotions. I wonder if somebody really has strong feelings for you. They have, their feelings are mutual. They've been ignoring their feelings. They have been. You have a secret admirer. We saw that on that card. This person has been reluctant to express their feelings because they've been holding on to something that is weighing them down. But you've got somebody that is really, really in their feelings about you, definitely. But they're struggling to communicate with you. On the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is a proposal. It's an offer. It's, it's an opportunity. Somebody's probably going to be making a slow and methodical approach. Maybe they're planning. Maybe they are working right now. They're coming up with a plan. Um, we have somebody here that hasn't been a good person. This may be a bully. They've been bullied. Maybe somebody has been bullied, you know, and they've been struggling to let go of some sort of abuse. There could even be emotional abuse here. Emotional blackmail, somebody's been struggling to let go. They've been struggling to let go of a situation because of the confrontation, because because of the, the because of the uh, confrontation. But the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that is coming up with a plan. They're planning something. Maybe they're planning to make a move. This is somebody that is, is really in their feelings. They're coming up with a plan. They're going to be putting in effort. I do believe that you are going to be receiving some sort of proposal or offer from somebody that is solid, that is real. But this person is a planner. They don't move fast. They think, but they and, and they're really, really in their feelings about you. Now, this doesn't have to be a lover. This could be a family member. Because we have an emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. May have to do with a family situation. Could also have to do with a friend. There is definitely some competition here. Um, somebody is really struggling with letting go of something that they are holding on to. Because they, uh, they don't want to deal with the conflict. They don't want to deal with the fight. You know what I mean? But there is going to be a separation or there maybe you're separated from somebody because because of the competition. There's serious competition here. You have somebody here that is working against you. But the, the Knight of Pentacles is a solid, uh, slow, methodical approach. It's putting in effort to build a strong foundation, working hard. I feel like somebody is approaching you, This whoever is approaching you, and this could be somebody new. Maybe you need to open your heart. For some of you, you may be holding on to some emotional baggage, and I know I'm changing the story right now, because of a separation from your past where you were treated unfairly and you have another offer coming in. I mean, I can, I can we got thousands and thousands of people watching this reading there is a secret admirer here i think for some of you 
you know, there's another option, but you may be bitter, you may be unforgiving, you were treated unfairly, you know, maybe you're in bitch mode and you, you're, you're conflicted about accepting an offer of love. You need to let go of the abuse or the emotional baggage that you're holding on to. And I know I just changed the story, but that's definitely here. Somebody needs to let go of their emotional baggage. They need to let their guard down. If the, you know, the separation happened, it happened. You definitely have another opportunity here. There is an opportunity here. It could be with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you've been bullied. You've been abused and you're holding on to something that you definitely need to let go of. You need to be logical here. You need to open your heart. For some of you, you need to open your heart. Okay, you need to seriously, you need to open your heart. You need to master your emotions. You need to give love a chance. You need to stop fighting it. Some of you are fighting love. You're fighting love because of bitterness or, you know, because of a previous separation. We could go all day, but I have to move on. And I really feel like you have to move on as well. You are going to be receiving a proposal from somebody, but you this is the, the, the shadow reverse or the moon reverse is a release of fear right you maybe you need to let go of your fear all right so anyway we could keep going but like i said it's time to move on good luck